collected. That's one thing that's always been instilled in my head. I just take that and just run with it, man. Cool, calm, and collected always helps you make the right decision. If you look at the guys that usually win, it's usually the guys that are calm. And that's the way I try to feel every time I step into the cage. Houston was a really big component in my life just because my family's been here. This is one of those places that, like, if you really strive for it, you can really get it. You can't take the Houston out of the person, man. It's, 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 it's more than just a place, man. It's a, it's a way of life. Adrian's father brought him and his brother to my gym, and they were looking for a place to train. And Adrian was trying to get into MMA, and at the time, I think he was at a, another martial art gym where they didn't really focus on MMA. And he decided to drop by, and the rest is history. The art of mixed martial arts, it's just a beautiful art to me, and it's just one of those things that there's something uncertain about it. Honestly, like, it kind of correlates to life. Just like everything in life is uncertain, so is everything in MMA. I just feel like it's it's great just to be uh, calm in life. But the minute you start getting mad, the minute you start getting sad, the minute you start getting anxious, like your your decisions in life are very skewed. Like you don't make the right decision for yourself at that moment. Just like how my dad would tell me at times that look, get to mark your target, aim, and then fire. It's just found out. Your timing on that, Kenny, was fairly good. You are your winner by knockout, Adrian You just had some really nice words for your opponent. Just tell everybody what you said. Uh, it takes some balls to get in here, man. It takes some, some big cojones. <laughs> you're, you're young, and it really looks like you got a great future in this sport, and you're going to learn and grow each and every time. Your hand speed and your accuracy was phenomenal. Congratulations on a fantastic win. Oh, one more thing. Hey, happy birthday, Pat Miller to Jay. Happy so, birthday, Pat. So I'm giving him a pink belly right there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, good idea. It might be you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>My name is Adrian Yanez. I'm 26 years old and I fight at a Metro Fight Club. I was, I was super close to my father. That man had a lot of influence on my life. My best friend. He was at every single one of my fights. He was sent to the emergency room uh, the day of Thanksgiving. And that's when he told us, I have stage four stomach cancer. It was heartbreaking. I took a picture before the day he passed and he was up walking, trying to move, just trying to take care of his family, trying to do whatever he can. I saw how hard my dad fought. That pushes me. Just having, having those little moments and seeing what my dad did makes me realize that whatever you want to do in life or whatever you need to do in life, you can get it done. Anybody would have wanted to quit right now. I haven't. I've stayed true and I've fought my way. I want this more than he does. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna show him why. And his opponent tonight, Adrian Yanez, a minus 350 favorite, bringing a 10 and three record into the octagon that. tonight. Laura Sanko has more on Yanez. Yeah, Dan, as we saw in that feature, Adrian Yanez's dad, Andy, was his world. Throughout Fight Week, he has kept a memento of their relationship with him at all times, a wristband that he got back in 2015 when he and his father attended a fan expo in Houston, Texas. He said it was an amazing day, uh, had such great memories from that time, meeting the fighters, taking pictures, and later on watching the fights. And that wristband is what allows you to get your picks at the end of the day. And he and his dad got busy, never did get the pictures, and Adrian says he really regrets that, but he has such strong, fond memories from that day that the wrist 
lifespan is still very symbolic to him to right. because that was the last day, the last time that he and his dad uh, attended any sort of UFC together. Tonight, he keeps that momentum close as he chases this dream of a UFC contract. Take a look now at the tail of the tape. Yana is younger by a year. Uh, Brady Huang, two inches taller, and there is a one-inch reach advantage for Adrian Yana. First round, buddy, you ready? Buddy, you ready? Fight! Yana is in the blue, Huang in the gray. I gotta say, Yanez reminds me of early UFC strike force days. Jorge Masvidal, the way he moves, wow. his boxing style, very crisp hands. Coming out of both gentlemen, really, I mean, very, very good striking from both guys. And I'm wondering if. Whoa! He's oh, he's out. Out. That's it. Right. Yeah. Wow, man. I don't know how he even recovered to get Holy to that point. Holy smokes. I got caught. Yeah, you got caught. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. Adrian Yanez. Quick work of Brady Huang. Woo. Now let's just talk about them hands. Oh, my. Let's take another look at this. Please. Happen quickly. Catches him, slips out of the way of the right hand, comes back with a beautiful left hook Ladies on the Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this bout at 39 seconds of round number one, declaring the winner by TKO, Adrian Yanez. 39 seconds, the fifth fastest finish in Contender Series history. You can see Huang looks just fine right now, said he got caught, and uh, Yanez, just came out with some thunder. Right oh my goodness. Bat. Giannis is with Laura Senko. Laura, go ahead. That uh, that finish was the type of boxing that I know that your dad would be so incredibly proud of. <laughs> What's it mean to you to be able to to put on a performance like that in, in his honor and in his memory? <laughs> oh man, you made, you about to make me cry. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> I'm just... Oh uh, man. It's okay. I, I just really hope he's proud of me. <laughs> well, Dana, uh, episode two is in the books. Took a little longer in your deliberations than last week. Uh, what were the discussions back there like? Yeah, this was a tough one tonight. You know, I, 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 you know, we obviously saw some good talent here tonight. I love decisive finishes. I love finishes that are, you know, there's no doubt about it. Make me not say no to you. Make me not say no to you. So obviously, Adrian. I didn't get to see much, but what I did see was clean, accurate. Yeah. This dude's a sniper, and uh, I look forward to seeing more in the UFC. So, come Adrian on. Adrian Yanez. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're in. Yeah, you're in. Yes. I mean, did you even doubt whether you were in or not? Come on. You're in. Let's fight. I expect Rodriguez to have no problem going the distance if, in fact, he doesn't knock him out or get knocked out. Wow, nice counter shot there. The right lands from Giannis. For a guy at 135. Yeah, the right straight definitely split the guard there as well as Rodriguez Oh, there it is again. Away. He did not like those shots. Oh, right down cross. he goes. Sits him down just for a moment. Get ready for another one. Another counter shot there from Rodriguez. And look out, nearly gets kicked in the face as he scrambles to his feet. Giannis just missed that one. There's a good right and another. He's hurt. And then the heavy kick. Holy smokes! Adrian Giannis does it again. Puts Victor Rodriguez down. Hard to do it more impressively than that. Man, we got a real prospect on our hands here. Then he knew he had him hurt. Rodriguez was wobbled, and Giannis goes head kick to turn out the lights. He has a five-fight win streak into this matchup. Underway for three rounds. A fight that a lot of people had circled on the card. Oh, oh. another heavy exchange. Lopez was open for a moment. Yeah. Oh. Giannis going to work here. The hands on Giannis, my goodness, man. This They're kid so, is slick. They're so fast. Oh, and so oh. And kick and follows it up. Because he knows Lopez is going. Oh. Finishes wow. the combination. Lopez trying to take this one to the ground. Oh, he got successful and he's in a world of trouble. Yeah, he waited too long. Flying wow. in. Clip to the left Set hand, but Lopez is still throwing yeah. back right now. They want Lopez to go for it. He needs a knockout if he's going to win this fight. Oh, that's going to do it. Wow. Adrian Yanez, Mr. Knockout, does it again. I'm 
in this kid's counter ability is unbelievable. As soon as anybody closes the distance, laser beam right hands. A beautiful job again from Adrian Giannis. I gotta be honest with him. Who isn't a fan of Dr. Pepper? It is fantastic. I Andy love Costa. Beautiful. Andy Costa is no fan. Dr. Pepper always sends me stuff. I love both. Yeah, it's good defense, Randy. Move full on that. That's okay. Yeah. Well, he keeps switching stance. The switching stance, the length. Oh. You see the way his kicks come up. They're almost like a changeup. Look yeah, that's off in his face. Yeah. Well, first he controls the range, and then he just starts piecing over the jab, and then that sets up the kick. Yeah. And that way that jab's landing. Yeah. Oh. Right there. Oh. Oh, man. One, two. I mean, that oh, jab is early on. Costa looks good, man. He's long and he goes straight. Oh, that, now he's going to start marching forward. Oh, right and it's adding up. Look, Dom, look at that. Right as, as Randy tries to pop yeah. up. Yep. 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 There it is. Right, right. Costa, he almost got him out. He hit oh, my good shots early. Yeah. But look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh, body shot. Oh. This dude right here, Yanez, is the real deal. Holy shit, yeah. Holy shit, that was fun, bro. Oh, yeah, that was fun, man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Dude, that you came out. I didn't expect you to come out so positive. I didn't expect you to come out so positive. I didn't expect you to come out so positive. I didn't expect you to come out so positive. I was looking, I was like, man, I was like, fuck. Like, because I was expecting every punch kick, punch kick, every kick. Yeah. But you switched it up. You caught me real fucking happy for you, bro. Appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, that was great. You switched it up. You caught me real fucking happy for you, bro. Appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, that was great. You switched it up. You caught me real fucking happy for you, bro. Appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, that was great. You switched it up. You caught me real fucking happy for you, bro. Appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, that was great. You switched it up. You caught me real fucking happy for you, bro. Appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, that was great. You switched it up. You caught me real fucking happy for you, bro. Appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, that was great. You switched it up. You caught me real fucking happy for you, bro. Appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, that was great. You switched it up. You caught me real fucking happy for you, bro. Yo, that was that was fun. That was fun. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm definitely upset, bro. Like, yeah, I'll come back stronger. I know I got the finish. I man, I'm 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 coming back stronger. I'm coming back better. I got I got this fight is gonna help me learn a lot. So, uh, I'm, I get to come back and learn a lot from this fight. So I'm ready to go. Uh, just need to get cleared by the doctor. They thought this was broken, but it's not. So I just need to get cleared. Uh, yeah, man, we're gonna go. We're gonna go out there uh, and come back. You know, uh, I, it's not a comeback. I feel like it lost, but I won. But uh, I, it, it, it's a win, man. Uh, not the prettiest win on my end, but you know, Randy was a f great fucking fight. He is a great fucking fighter. Uh, so you know, props to him. He came out really fucking strong. Like, dude, like, holy crap. I, I'm I'm glad. I was able to perform, and uh, hopefully it was really entertaining for y'all. Uh, man, y'all are amazing. Thank y'all so much. If it wasn't for y'all, you know, the UFC wouldn't be as big as it is. Uh, y'all are amazing. Thank y'all. Fighting out of Bishop Auckland, County Durham, England! Dangerous! Davey Grant! And a level change. Oh, oh, that all right! Dangerous oh, Davey Grant walking him off tonight! No takedown needed, John! I'm telling you, he is out cold! They attend to the Hawaiian wow. Mountain Day. Dare I say you cannot break into the UFC in a better fashion than Adrian Yanez did. This fighter is 3-0 since joining the UFC. He won his contract with a knockout inside of a minute on Dana White's Contender Series last year. Three wins in the UFC, three performance of the night bonuses, three knockouts. Davey Grant 2.0 is making his way back to the octagon. Now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Band of Weight Division. Introducing first, Adrian Yandas. And now, introducing his opponent, Dangerous David Grant. Referee Herb Dean draws the first assignment of this main card. Davy Grant, 
Always a good time in the octagon, friendly as they come outside of the octagon. Adrian really Yanez, is. as bright a prospect as you can have in the UFC Ready. right now. Ready. Yanez, minus 280 as the favorite is in blue. Davey Grant, plus 225 oh, is in the white. And certainly the <laughs> toughest test of the most credentialed fighter in the career of Adrian Yanez who enters this fight on a seven fight win streak. He's throwing spinning kicks. He's got to slow everything down. That, I love that, that technique from Grant. That front kick up the middle. Oh, big left from Yanez, backs Grant to the fence. Oh, and another counter. He always leaves himself in position to counter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Counter right from Yanez comes in quick. Combination as Grant advances. It's crazy. Davy. Davy's like Davy's so aware now of his hands. He's got Davy so aware of the hands, but they're so fast, so quick that his head and chest go back. Davy Grant has not checked. Second time we've seen Grant charge in with a spin and a couple of strikes. Jan is able to back off and fires a one-two. Jab is working. Grant with some nice counter shots. Oh. Heavy shots from Grant. That knee caught the target on the way in. Nice. I don't want this strikes round two. Close. I just don't want this thing to look pretty if you're Davy Grant. Yes. As long as you can make it. Oh. Connects on the big right. Swing and a miss that time. The fact that he is throwing that right hand from he's throwing that thing from England. <laughs> Watch his hand. Look at it. <laughs> Dude's a beast, man. Well, Grant says oh, he likes it to be a little bit ugly. He was starting to take control of the fight training, and now he's oh. on more full time. And these guys are slinging some leather, man. Heavy exchange, another flying knee on the way in for Grant. We've seen him use that. Oh, just throwing, looping shots from the hip. Davy Grant is powerful, oh. and you can hear the way that his punches make contact. It's a so big fun. shot from Yanez there. Well, the only thing, oh. the only thing that separated was that it seemed as though Yanez was ahead in the first and hurt him. But then second and third, oh. Davies landing, even though oh. nice it one. may not look as right. You know, never seen Yanez this deep in a fight since he fought on the Contender Series and several times here at the Apex. Because that, like that, right? You see, you see right. Davey throw with well, Giannis is just pumping out those strikes and touching Grant. Big shot from the Englishman. Final 10 seconds. Does Adrian Giannis extend the win streak? Davey Grant giving him all he can handle down the stretch. And as promised, a fierce back and forth battle at Bantamweight between Adrian Yanez and Davey Grant. The official decision coming up next. on the face of Adrian Yanez, and you see the memorial wristband for his coach, Saul Solis, who passed away a few months ago. And Yanez told us in anticipation of this fight, he wasn't letting himself feel the emotions 
it was all about the task at hand of getting another win inside the octagon. He is certainly feeling them now. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Tony Week scores the contest. 30-27, Grant. Junichiro Camillo scores it. 29-28, Yanez. And Eric Cohen scores the contest. 29-28, for the winner by split decision, Adrian Yanez. Um, in terms of your career now, this is, did, is this one of those fights where you walk away learning something? Did you learn something about yourself today, fighting a guy like Davey? Uh, yeah, I'm always learning something for myself in a fight. Like, uh, especially this one, with, with just how the training camp was and just how, how like, emotional this one was, like, with everything that went on. Man, like, it just kind of just solidified that what my coach and what my dad had been telling me this whole, like, my what they've told me their entire life, like, whenever I was with them, they just believed in me and they knew I could do this. And the fact that I was able to go out there and do it, like, was just one of those moments for me that I, I, I was like, yeah, I just gotta keep believing in myself. And sometimes it's kind of hard, especially whenever you got the guy that brought you brought you up, not there for you, and you just kind of had those doubts. So uh, the fact that I was able to go in there and just like shadow all doubts within myself and just kind of just go in there and fight, you know, I was able to learn that like, I, it, it's just one of those things that I, I also kind of had to keep relearning because I've been through tougher spots, but uh, you know, uh, and then also, too, just the ring time is also great. Um, I think you know that you're starting to make waves in your career when you start getting people calling you out. Um, Sean O'Malley wants to fight you in March. People have already been telling me, like, Twitter's been blowing up about me fighting Sean O'Malley and all that stuff. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Like, I don't know. It, he's here. Like, you know, he, he fights a guy in Chris Moutinho who is a 25er. And he moves up last second and, like... Of course, he's supposed to look good against a guy like that who's taking it last second like that, you know, moving up from a weight class. Yeah, whatever. Honestly, like, like Sean O'Malley does have skills, but it's just the, the opponents that he's been fighting, you know, a lot of them, like, they could be a lot better, especially, like, if he's, he's been saying he's been trying to get a ranked opponent and try to fight. He's over here calling out Peter Yan and all these guys. So, you know, hey, like, fight a ranked opponent first, you know. But, hey, you know, if he's calling me out, that puts me in the same name as all those guys, so I don't care. I love it. Congrats, man. Thank you. I, I watched an ascending star, um, an arriving star in Yanez. I was, as I said, I was so, so impressed by him. He controls range beautifully. Uh, he's a concise and deadly counterpuncher with a laser right hand. Uh, you got to be mentally that guy to do that. And he's a surgeon in there. And to be a surgeon, you got to have clear vision. You got to see everything. You got to have, you know, uh, you got to have nerves of steel, ice water in your veins. Your hand can't shrivel, you know, tremble. It's got to be steady. Everything's got to be steady. He's exactly what they mean when you hear that saying, calm in the eye of the storm. That's him. That's him. That's that. If you had that definition in Webster's, Put a picture of him next to it because that's what he displayed. And he catches you so clean. Yeah, he's a good puncher, but anyone's going to be a effective puncher if they catch it that clean. That's part of the trick, to catch it that clean. And he catches you that clean. Um, again, I, I love the guy. What can I tell you? Dana White Contender Series, and I was like, I've worked so hard just to even get to this position, and I did it. And I did it like, I didn't just only pass, I passed with flying colors. And to me, I was just like, holy crap, like, I've only dreamed of this moment. I would wake up from my dreams being like, I, like man, this is crazy, that, that probably won't happen. Uh, but, the way it played out, man, I, I, I couldn't have dreamed of it being better than that. It, it, was, it was just a phenomenal moment for me and just a, one of those moments in, in, in my life where I realized 
I need to stop doubting myself because I belong there. I belong to be there and I've, I worked hard for it. And if you work hard for it, you'll get there. No matter what you're trying to do in life, you'll get to that point. Whatever you want, whatever goal you need, you need to, you need to get to, you can do it. Looking at your fight, where do you think a win over Hollyon takes you in the bantamweight division? Right now, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm the unranked champ. I kind of, you know, I think this fight takes me to, to Adrian Yanez. That, you know, if, if I had to answer what's next, I would say probably Adrian Yanez. Oh! back to my father. My father would always tell me to look, to stay cool, calm and collected in every situation you're in. You're never going to make a good decision, man. You're never going to make a good decision like being sad or anything like that. If you're cool, calm and collected, you know, that's when you make your best decisions. And I just feel like it's it's great just to be uh, calm in life. But the minute you start getting mad, the minute you start getting sad, the minute you start getting anxious, like your, your decisions in life are very skewed. Like you don't make the right decision for yourself at that moment. Just like how my dad would tell me at times, like, look, get to mark your target, aim, then fire.